just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. And I just wanted to come on to touch on something that I've been seeing a lot lately on social media and on Facebook and on YouTube. And let's talk about it. So as you can see from the description below, we are going to be discussing McKaylee Manor. So when you hear the word haunted house, what do you think of? Me personally, I think of dark rooms, people coming out to jump out at you saying boo or rah, I gotcha, I scared you. Things like that, right? Which door are we going? <laughs> well, McKinley Manor is advertised as an extreme haunt, which in fact, it is not a haunted house. It is a torture chamber. McKinley Manor. McKinley Manor. I first heard about McKinley Manor from a student in October that told me to watch this. It's a haunted house and it's really interesting. I subscribed to the channel and when I got home, me and my kids, and when I say kids, my kids are 18 and over, so not little ones, we watched it. So I'm thinking, I like seeing people get scared in haunted houses. I don't wanna be in one. I don't wanna be in a scary movie, but I like seeing people get scared. So anyway, I pulled up a random video and it was two hours long. What I seen, I was only able to get through about 20 minutes of the video. I was so, I, I was traumatized. I wasn't even the person that they were doing this to. So let me tell you about a little bit of my research on McKinley Manor. McKinley Manor is owned by Russ McKinley and his wife. Do the event, and that's a big deal because I want people who are really squared away. So, you know, I'm not playing drug cop, but I don't want anybody intoxicated or high. I take this very serious and I don't want someone getting hurt here. I just like to entertain folks. I'm just, uh, I'm just Russ. It was originally located in San Diego and he had to tear it down. Then he moved it to Tennessee. Hmm. Now I couldn't find out why he moved it to Tennessee, but my suspicions is that he got in trouble with the state of California. Now I can't prove that, but that's just my thoughts. Oh, so in order to be considered for the haunt, you must sign a 40 page waiver that allegedly states death is possible for its participants. Not only do you have to sign a 40 page waiver, you have to go through a mental health check, a physical check, a drug test, and many more tests just a part of the screening process to possibly be approved for this haunted house. And get this y'all, it's not even over. The owner of McKinley Manor says he will pay you $20,000 if you're able to make it through the haunt from beginning to end. No one has made it through. So let's see some of that 40 page waiver, okay? And I'm not gonna read everything because it's 40 pages, but I'm just gonna read a few that stood out to me. Okay, participant fully understands and agrees that they may be fish hooked, which may inadvertently cause rippage to the mouth area. Participant fully understands and agrees that if they are selected to visit the dentist, that they may have a tooth extracted without Novocaine and will not hold McKinley Manor liable. First of all, maybe being the dental assistant in me, but um, I see how we extract teeth and it's painful and you want to be numb, but people are signing, signing up for this. Participant fully understands and agrees that their teeth may be accidentally chipped, broken or lost and will not hold McKinley Manor responsible. Participant fully understands and agrees that it is possible that joints, jaw, shoulders, elbow, wrist, knee, hip, etc. may be accidentally dislocated and that participant will not hold McKinley Manor responsible. They're trying to cover all their bases. I don't know why this place has not been shut down. There are people trying to shut them down. Let, let, me, let me just finish reading. You think it's, okay. It gets worse. Fully understands and agrees that they be bruised by paintballs. 
I've never been hit by a paintball, but I'm sure it hurts. Participant fully understands and agrees that once participant enters McKinley Manor, there is no quitting unless serious physical or psychological injury is present. Who's deciding whether this injury is serious? Participant fully understands that injuries may occur during their tour of McKinley Manor, which may include head, neck, back injuries, death, stroke, traumatic brain injury, um, I'm sorry, they lost me at death. Brain aneurysms, cerebral or retinal hemorrhage, subdural hematoma, loss of consciousness, whiplash, harmful heart reactions, nausea, headache, dizziness, lacerations, broken or sprained bones, torn ligaments, bleed, bleeding wounds, scrapes and or cuts, heat stroke or drowning, and does not hold McKinley Manor responsible. Sorry y'all, this is not a place that I wanna be. Participant fully understands and agrees that being scared and having a heart attack does not count as a serious injury. What? What? Participant fully understands and agrees that their tour may include the use of hypodermic needles, zappers, tasers, or dog shock collars. Participant fully understands and agrees that they may be crushed in a pit by various objects. Y'all, I kid you not, this is, I, I, I'm not making this stuff up. Look it up, do some research on your own. Oh my goodness, yeah, mm -mm. Participants agrees that there is real possibility that their extremities may be crushed by heavy objects. Participant agrees to have hundreds of pounds of chain wrapped around their body with the possibility of being crushed or death. You know, I, I really wanna know what kind of people are signing up for this, y'all. This. This is not a haunted house. This is a reason to torture someone. Participant fully understands and agrees that various fluids such as food coloring, grease, theatrical blood, other liquids may be placed in participant's mouth. It's participant's responsibility not to swallow these fluids. I'm getting mad, madder and madder as I read this. Participant fully understands and agrees that water torture may be used. Participant fully understands and agrees that a nail may pierce their hand. You know, I'm done. I, I can't with that. That's way too much. Who are these people asking for this to be done to them? This is not a haunted house. No one's saying boo or scare me. I could be bound. I could be gagged. People sign up to be kidnapped and then their torture begins. This is not okay. So you basically sign yourself up to be tortured. This entire experience takes place on his property behind his house. Not even a professional haunted house y'all. It's a regular guy who decided, hey, I'm gonna make a haunted house. A haunted house and I'll torture people and this right here is is, is so weird oh he doesn't charge people to get in you know what the fee is entering the house bag of dog food y'all I'm not making this up do your research a bag of dog food dogs will be fed but we'll torture you so the fact that he doesn't get paid for it to me is showing that he's torturing people for his own sick pleasure. I, I can't stress enough what I don't understand is these people that sign themselves up for this sick and twisted haunted house to be emotionally scarred mentally and physically. I mean, I don't get it. I don't want that. Who would subject yourself to that kind of torture just for money? People have come for it, the ones who gone through and said their experience was that of a nightmare and that they regretted doing it. Duh. So yeah. What? Oh, hold on. What? 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 It's too much. What? It's too much. It's too much? It's too much? It's you want out now? I want out. Please. You want out? What did you tell me earlier about that? What's your so what? I've been challenged. I want to. So what happened? But you've been here five minutes. You're not. You're not done yet. Remember, you, what you told me? What'd you tell me? Don't cry. You said what? Tell me. Repeat what you told me. What'd you say? Hold on. Hold on. What'd you tell me before? <laughs> challenge me. You said when you quit, and I told you you would quit. You told me to do what? To challenge me. That's what we're gonna do. Get her in there, quick. Get her in there. I want to please. Get her in there. Please. So when you apply. Allegedly, Russ himself will personally call you to ask you what your worst fears are so that they can pattern the experience to your fears. I'm just gonna read a little something from the petition that they're asking people to sign because they people want this place closed down and it should be. He uses loopholes to get out of being arrested. Previously, no safe word was allowed, but he changed that. But there has been reports that torture continues even when people repeat their safe word for several minutes. One man was tortured so badly, he passed out multiple times. Workers only stopped because they thought they had killed him. What kind of, I don't, I don't, y'all. 
So you not only tell him your worst fears, everything that makes you afraid, if you're afraid of spiders, if you're afraid of the dark, if you're afraid of water, afraid of drowning, he will use those things against you. And people are going in there and wanting this. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I don't understand. It would be my worst nightmare. That's not something I would call fun. Not at all. McCamey Manor is a shame to all haunted houses. It needs to be shut down. People don't pay money to get in, which is technically the loophole. They are doing it for fun. And it is not fun after about 10 minutes of getting duct tape wrapped around your head, forced to eat things, be waterboarded, and forced underwater. There's also been reports of sexual abuse in the manor. Yeah. Y'all, I, I could not believe what I was looking at. It was sick and it was disgusting. And the clips I just showed you guys, that wasn't even the video I watched. I didn't even feel like searching for the video I watched. The guy threw up, they rubbed it all over his face and back in his mouth. I'm gonna throw up a little bit right now, just thinking of it. So disgusting. After about 20 minutes, I'm like, I, I can't, I cannot with this at all. So I started doing more research and I'm like, is this real? You know, are these actors? No, people are actually going there. People are wanting this experience. It's not an experience, it's a nightmare. I will leave a link below to McKinley Manor if you want to check out their page. But I, let me tell you, it's not for the faint of heart. Do not let little ones watch it because it's nothing for, I don't even want to watch it as an adult. It's definitely not for kids. There's also a petition people could sign. They're trying to get him shut down. So I will leave a link to that as well if you want to check it out. So yeah, you guys, let's discuss this in the comments below. Have you heard of McKinley Manor? If so, what do you think? I think it's completely sick and twisted. I would never, ever go there, even if the prize was a million dollars guaranteed. There's no way, no, because the minute they duct tape me or put a spider on me, I'm suing. The reason for the 30 page waiver is so people cannot sue. All right, everyone, thank you so, so much for watching. You know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.